Well, Alyssa Mercante has stepped in again. She put foot in mouth, calling people the C-U-N-T out there on the internet and physically wanting to fight people. And if you have a problem with that, come fight me physically, <laughs> bitch. Yes, because this is the natural discourse of things. People don't want to fight. They, they want to actually hash it out, have the proper discourse. But you know what? This is this is the internet now. This is the day and age we have. And the one Vera Dark is willing to step up, step into the ring, as long as it's live stream. Of course it has to be live stream. Why wouldn't it? The, the, it would be asinine if this wasn't televised. So here's Vera's response. I decided to, I put up a tweet and said, can't hit up this little bitch who's hiding behind a block. So send me a DM and let's talk match details. Well, how far is this going to go? Vera Dark uh, was saying, you know what? Whoever loses, they put up a public apology. They they put it up either an article or a video. It gets live stream. The winner gets a thousand dollars. Alyssa's come back and said, "No one, no one makes money off this. We'll we'll do this for charity." But then it can't be live streamed. It can't do this. We gotta we gotta meet up in the middle of a street and have an illegal street fight. Is pretty much what Alyssa wants. That's not normal it's completely unhinged and vera of course i was totally interested in a live stream sanctioned match actual sanction televised all the all the bells all the whistles training all of it go full out but now she's just evolved to threatening me with an illegal street fight mentally deranged behavior reminds me of a certain group of people out there antifa seek help girly pop and Kotaku. Of course, this is shortly after where she goes, okay, I, I someone doesn't want to be dog walked. Anyway, she can get blocked again. No more free content for you, Angry Orange. Apparently, Vera's Vera Dark's hair being orange is now triggering for Alyssa. Maybe we all need to pick up orange as a color for something for Alyssa to write home about. That, I guess, is the new color for her. Anyway, Keem Star actually had posted here. He'll set it up, get it all going. Alyssa came back with, I'm not giving you any money. She doesn't want anyone to make money off of this, and yet she's going to sit there, block and unblock, and block and unblock people, and sit there and try and be behind these blocks. With Vera Dark, well, guess it's not happening. Fun while it's lasted. And Alyssa, of course, here responding. Now you're just being silly and you haven't replied to me. Anyway, good luck with your content creation. Trans rights are human rights. Black people exist. That shade of orange doesn't go well with your skin tone. Bye. How disgraceful do you think you really are being here, Alyssa? You were just showing your true colors. Vera Dark is one of the most inclusive people I know, and she is a good friend. She is absolutely more than willing to accept anybody into her Discord, anybody into her live streams, and sit there and have an actual conversation with people. Those that come in completely unhinged, like Alyssa's being here, they generally find the door because I am one of those moderators and I will throw you out the door because you belong to be in the corner for at least five minutes. Also, wasn't suggesting an illegal street fighter. Boxing gyms exist everywhere. The point is, I believe the video game industry should be diverse and you don't and agree to the fight. I don't need the clout or cameras. Okay, ciao for real. Oh, well, uh, of course. She says this and then hides behind the block again. That's where Alyssa is now. She runs out there. Go, ha, 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 runs away. No, Alyssa, this is real life. You want people to fight. You want, you're making it all over social media. This is now in the public eye. You're threatening and wanting people to come out and fight you. People are saying, okay, let's go. Let's throw down. And of course, it can't be televised because nobody wants that. Apparently, she doesn't want that. No, everyone would want to see this go down. People would pay handsomely to see this. I will even go out there to wherever this is, if possible, to be the person that films it. I would more than happy to try and make that happen. Message Veridark and put it up on Twitter to say, oh, I messaged Veridark. 
this isn't the win you think it is there, uh, Alyssa. You're going to sit there and put this all out on the world, and you don't want to sit there and own up to any of what you want to say. You want all the stipulations. No, this needs to be public. You want the you wanted this in the public eye. It is in the public eye. You had a complete meltdown on a what was supposed to be a, a summer games fest review show, and you had a complete meltdown saying uh, games of uh, everyone's diverse in games. Yes, all of us have been saying that diversity exists. It always has been. It's always been there. So why is the sudden push against what would be white people at this point? Why is there the sudden racism for one and not the other? Why is it? Why does that exist? Everyone wants to exist. That includes everyone. But it's become a very trendy thing to sit there and make it such a thing. And then the black people exist. Yeah, they always have. My ancestors are black. Thanks. It's pretty, pretty sad to see the day that this is coming out there. I think you've got this completely wrong, Alyssa. All of us here in the gaming industry, all of us that talk and talk about these things, we want to see the diversity, but we don't want to see suddenly someone go into a story with no background or switching someone up in a story that is traditionally a, uh, a European descent suddenly become a, a, another a race or someone become a completely gender swap in there. And that's the problem is the companies that are doing these things are doing it to tokenize and to make a dollar off someone's skin color or someone's gender what they do in the bedroom it's absolutely disgusting that is the major problem here but of course of course if you speak up against that then the corporations sit there and go oh hey thanks we get more money no we're we're getting games that are capped at 30 frame rates per second so they can sit there and put out more more gay things in it it's absolutely pathetic at this point they're not properly transporting games over to pc they're not doing things right in the industry and it's all about the all about this extra little money to make this esg score this environmental social governments be so much better and it is ruining so many potential games that are out there so many potential stories are getting knocked down for these things and then when they fail when they fall flat on their face people like Alyssa or from Kotaku sit there and tell you that it's your fault that because you're the gamer and you don't like what you see if you if it tastes like crap it smells like crap it's crap you don't want that nobody wants this at the end of the day you're left with this pile of goo that does absolutely nothing we want to see the good stories get retold as those stories once were with the lore intact. If you want to make stories like this, make the stories like this. But at the same time, you have to do the legwork and you have to you have to expect that people want to be engaged. If you're just going to sit there and tell people that they're bigots for not liking these things or they're misogynist or they're racist, then no one's going to listen to you in the first place and no one cares about the content. No one's going to put money towards it and it's just going to dry up and go away. That's why we see the thousands of people getting laid off in these industries because they're making products that nobody wants. Okay, maybe maybe the 3% people want it, including everyone that works at Kotaku uh, with Alyssa uh, leading the charge here. It's absolutely pathetic. All I have to say here, Alyssa, step up, put that money out there, take the foot out of your mouth, step into a ring and televise it. You're saying you're willing to do this for charity? Well then do it for charity. Do something good for once in your life. But no, no, it's gotta be an illegal street fight in the middle of a backwater boxing ring where there's no training involved. There's nothing that leads up to this absolutely pathetic otherwise what's the point in doing this what what are you going to prove you're going to walk down the street and pull each other's hair like come on that that's absolutely pathetic that's high school bullshit and really we're adults here why don't we get down and watch the actual things unfold watch an actual fight that happens and then we get to sit there and do this from a level head 
but there's none of that no de there's no debating Alyssa. she's just going to sit there and run around with her friends for kotaku saying whatever she wants whatever mean thing she wants to say behind these blocked accounts where does that really get us it doesn't get us anywhere we just get Alyssa sitting there spouting out with a frost like attitude thinking she's all high and mighty of herself when no she's not at all Alyssa, it's pathetic to see, and I've said pathetic a lot this uh, episode, because it really is pathetic. Step up or shut up. Let's, uh, I want to see this fight. Anyway, I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix in a Shadow. I'm signing off here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you again very soon.